So, hello everyone. So, it is very great honor to be here. And, uh, uh, yes, yeah, so uh, uh, I can introduce uh, Japanese data uh, from the IBAS analysis for the uh, cultural uh, the region. So, today, the uh, speaker is uh, Dr. Hayakawa. So, he's a very famous and uh, very good uh, skillful operator uh, from Japan. And uh, today he will talk about the uh, uh, alligator study, focus on the uh, SFA cultural region, so defined by the IBAS analysis. So Dr. Hayatawa, so please introduce yourself uh, after a word and uh, start your presentation. Okay, thank you very much, Dr. Ujala, and uh, it's a great honor for me to be here. And, uh, and uh, thank you very much and uh, this, for giving giving me uh, this wonderful opportunity. And uh, of course, and thank you very much, Dr. Mori and Dr. Nakama. Uh, he, they are a uh, PI of this study. So today's my topic is an uh, aggregated study um, about uh, DCB treatment of cow service nodule. Okay. And uh, I'm, I'm now Keiko Ward, an association in hospital, Chiba, Japan, and I'm a cardiovascular interventionist. So this is my disclosure. And uh, as you know, I, in, in endoverse therapy for F lesion, the drug coded balloon are actively used due to the, its high primary patency. Uh, this is a, a Japanese, uh, the usage of the GCB and they're dramatically increasing now. However, uh, the, as you know, the, there are reports that GCB is not effective for highly cancer lesions. So that's why and the, this is a famous paper by Dr. Connery. And this is our crocodile study. And uh, Dr. Mori probably already published uh, over uh, seven, 700 limbs and uh, 600 patients were the DCB adiposity for the Denver FB region, uh, dedicated by the BSAS registry. And, and the primary patency seemed to lower in PAX grade 2 or PAC, and PAX grade 4. And freedom from TLR was also similar outcome. So, However, the, our clinical question, the nodular calcification, uh, that means the calcifying nodule, is uh, one of the biggest problems and unsolved problem in this area. So this aggregated study uh, is uh, to investigate whether the nodular calcification, that means a calcifying nodule, uh, assessed with intravascular ultrasound or associated with clinical outcome of the DCB angioplasty for FP lesions. So this study was conducted by the BSAS registry, the PI is uh, uh, was uh, Dr. Mori and uh, Dr. Nakama. Uh, he, Nakama, as you know, uh, links live operators. So the uh, study design, the seven cardiovascular basket center, the all uh, of uh, some sorry, the 568 patients from the land that ABT with TCV4, d novo calcified FP lesions using IPS. And we in, we divided the two groups and the nodular calcification group 200 and the non-nodular calcified no calcification group 368 patients. Definition. This is a very important nodular calcification uh, appears as a distinct feature with a uh, irregular protruding and and convex luminal surface so by Dr. Fujihara's famous our paper. So this is a uh, sorry. This is IBAS image and this is angioscopy image. So evaluation items: primary patency up three years and the freedom from TLR up to three years. So this is a patient and the limb characteristics: the diabetes and the diabetes mellitus and the renal failure uh, was uh, uh, much higher in the nodular calcification group, and the reference vessel diameter was. Uh, Russia in the uh, nodular calcification group. And the chronic total, however, the chronic total occlusion was uh, much higher in the uh, non, -cal non nodular calcification group. And the PAX grade of four uh, was much higher in the node NC group. So this is uh, procedure characteristics. The IVS from IVS findings, the calcification arc for over 100 degree was uh, much higher in the nodular calcification group. And the uh, subintimal wire passage was much higher in the MC group. And the high dose DCB impact use uh, was uh, uh, much higher in the MC group. So this is a key slide. The prime patency 
uh, and freedom from tyranny. The primary agency was a significantly uh, lower in the MC group, to only the fifty-four uh, percent. Mm. On the other hand, the sixty-six percent non-nodular classified group, and uh, almost similar in the freedom from TLR. Uh, NC group was uh, significantly lower, and uh, 65%. And uh, this is an uh, association between the uh, NC and the risk stenosis risk. The, we adjusted uh, four type, more four model, unadjusted model, and the uh, NC plus patient characteristic model, and the uh, model one plus limb characteristic, and uh, plus IVS findings, and uh, finally procedural fa fa factors. All, uh, all groups, Suggest the NC group was uh, uh, independent, uh, significantly uh, it affected the uh, risk stenosis. So, however, the, this uh, this is a discussion of limitation. This was a retrospective non-randomized study, and the data was corrected as the beginning of the use of DCB in Japan. And uh, in this uh, study period, uh, the astrophotomy device is including the frame or something was not used during this period. And it is possible that the techniques used to improve the result of DCB were still immature. So it is necessary to conduct further large scale and up to date research in the future. So this is our conclusion. The non and notary classification was independently associated with cl uh, clinical outcomes of the DCB and plastic for F lesions. So thank you for your kind attention. Thank you very much, Dr. Hayakawa. So very good result and very good information uh, focus on the calcium. So regarding this data, so calcification type of the SFL region is very important. And the superficial deep or the uh, uh, nodular, calcification, nodular calcification. So the, uh, from this data, the nodular calcification is one of the vital information for the treating the endovascular therapy for the SFL regions. So why the uh, nodular calcification the bear poor outcomes? So what do you think uh, so far? So do you have, uh, so please uh, tell me uh, some opinion uh, of yours. Yeah, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Fujiwara, and uh, very, very nice uh, and important question. Uh, our from our data and from our inspiration, the if the nodal the nodal is called FP region, including the nodal calcification, we can we cannot get the sufficient luminal gain mm -hmm. because of elastic leak oil and uh, something. So uh, maybe the Dr. Horie uh, already published that a minimal lumen area is very very important. I was guided to MLA is very important to get the good clinical. Outcome. So, however, the, maybe the superficial calcification or uh, the medial calcification, we can get sufficient, sufficient uh, luminal gain uh, by the modified balloon or high pressure balloon. However, the nodal calcified region, we, we cannot get uh, su sufficient luminal gain. Mm -hmm. So, maybe the, it, in the future, we need uh, some debulking device. Or, or of course, uh, the super stent or something does this. Yeah, yeah for the device, it's very important. Yeah, uh, one option for the distributions. And uh, how about the soon recoil? So the after the parent plasty. So yes, yes. Anyway, they are very important. So negative factors after the parent plasty or the DCB and the plasty. So how about the so recoil? Maybe I think the the almost all cases uh, the uh, the elast uh, the recoil acute recoil was occurred. So uh, in the nodular calcification group, mm -hmm. so the maybe in such kind of cases we we uh, it, it's not not feasible to get cl good clinical outcome mm -hmm. by the baronangioplasty only. Okay, okay. So very good info information uh, from this data. So the only the DCB around procedure uh, without uh, any so uh, adjective bias, square baron and the plasty. The very poor outcomes focus on the uh, nodular calcification uh, with the morphology. So we have to do more deep discussion about the uh, calcium types uh, with yeah. DCB. The very important. 
So, uh, thank you very much. Good uh, presentation, and uh, yeah, this is uh, so that we have the Colbert collaboration program uh, with the PBI in Jet Two Five. So, yes, uh, thank you very much. So, see you soon. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you very much, Dr. Bujala.